In Creole Parametric, you can make a mirrored version of a part either in part mode or assembly mode. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here I have a part open. It is the left hand side of my drill case and I want to make the right hand version of this part. To do that, I will go to the file menu and then save as and then choose mirror part. And here we have the mirror part dialog box and I have a few different choices in here. Uh, I'll come back to the name in a moment, but let's start off with the geometry only option. You have geometry only or geometry with features and also geometry dependent. So with geometry only, it's just going to give us a part with a single feature that is the mirrored version of the geometry. Here we have the option to turn off geometry dependence so that if the original part changes, then our new part will automatically update. If you turn on the preview button, you'll notice that you will see a preview of the geometry that is created. And in this particular dialog box, you don't get a choice of what plane to mirror about. Creo Parametric is going to select that for you automatically. Let's change the name to reflect what we are creating. So this is going to be a geometry only part and it's going to be dependent. Now I will click the OK button and it is generating my brand new part. It's automatically opened up in its own separate window. And you'll notice that we have a mirrored merge feature in the model tree. And for those of you who can have really good eyes, you might be able to tell that this icon is a little purplish. I can click on the feature in the model tree and then choose edit definition from the mini toolbar. If we go to the options tab on the ribbon, you'll notice that automatic update is selected, but you could change it to manual update or no dependency. So even though we have dependency now, you could turn that off later on but I'm not going to change it. Let's hit the cancel button. So that is our first method for creating our right hand version of the part. Let's go back to our original window and take a look at the next method. We will go to file, save as mirror part, just like before. And we have geometry only, but we're going to turn on excuse me, turn off the option for geometry dependent. And let's call this geometry only and independent. Click the, oh, let's click the preview button first. And again, you'll notice the preview comes up in the same place as before below the component. Now let's click the OK button and it's generating our new part in its own separate window. And now we have our mirrored merge feature. And before where it was a little purple, now it's a little bluish. And like before, I can select on the mirrored merge feature and then hit the edit definition button and go to the options tab. You'll notice this time manual update is selected. And again, I can change to automatic update or no dependency. Be aware that by default, no dependency is a one-way trip. You can't go back from that, but there is a config.pro option that is hidden that does allow you to revert from no dependency back to automatic update or manual update. It's something that Creo Parametric keeps a bit of a secret, but if you are industrious, you can find out that option. Let's leave that as is and hit the check mark. Another thing that I want to show, if you right click on the name of the part and then choose information reference viewer, you can see that we do have a reference to the original left hand side of the drill case. Let's close out of here and go to the previous one that we created, the mirrored merge that has the automatic update. Again, if we select the part, right click and go to information reference viewer. Yes, we have a dependency between our new part and the original one. Let's go back and show the last option in here. Let's go to drill case left. Once again, file, save as, mirror part. And this time 
we will do geometry with features, you'll notice that the dependency option goes away. Let's click the preview. Once again, we see the preview of the geometry below the model. And we'll change the name of this. We'll call this geometry with features. And hit the OK button. Once again, our part is created in its own separate window. But if you take a look at the model tree, this time we have all the original features from the original model and then a mirrored merge feature down at the bottom of the model tree. If we click on the mirrored merge feature, you'll notice that we don't have an edit definition command in order to change the dependency because this is independent. If I right click on this and then go to information, reference viewer, we see that no parents found. There are no dependencies between this part and the original part that was created. And again, right now we have the right-hand version of this model. If I grab the insert here arrow, I'm not allowed to drag it up above in order to get to the left-hand version of the part. So those are three different ways of creating the mirrored version of the part in part mode with different choices for whether you're going to have dependency or no dependency and whether you're going to get the features in the model tree or not. And in this particular case, here you can see with the different features, I can right click on them and choose edit definition. And that allows me to change this and then I can click OK or cancel out of here depending on the changes that I make and get all the different features back. Now with this mirrored merge feature, you do have the ability to suppress it and it ends up suppressing everything else in there. So again, it's not going to allow you to roll back in order to get to the left hand version of the part. So that's just something to be aware of in here. Now let's take a look at creating an assembly and putting a left hand version and a right hand version together. Let's create a brand new assembly and I'm not going to bother changing the name. I'll use my default template for doing that. Let's click on the assemble button and I'm going to go to in session and grab that left hand version and then just right click and choose default constraint. Then you can middle mouse click or hit the check mark in order to complete placement of the first one in here. Let's click on the assemble button and I'll go to in session and let's grab the first one, the geometry only dependent and click the open button. And I'm going to drop it in here. And by the way, if you click on the icon in the ribbon to show the component in its own separate window, here you can see the model tree where we just have that single mirrored merge feature. For assembling this, let me zoom in over here and select this mounting hole here and select the corresponding mounting hole in the other part. That's good for my first constraint. Let's create another constraint for this hole over here and this hole over here. We have our second constraint. And for our last constraint, let's select this surface and then this one over here and then it brings the two parts together and we can hit the check mark and there you can see the mirrored version of the part that we assembled in here. The other way that you can do this, let me select the hide button. If you want to perform the mirror operation in the assembly, you can do that. You can select the part and then go to the mirror component command in the model tree, excuse me, in the ribbon. And here we have the mirror component dialog box and we had the component already selected for the mirror plane. I strongly recommend if you don't want to have a dependency to the assembly in which it was created, select as your mirror plane a surface that belongs to the original part that you're mirroring. And here we can create a new part. Let's change the name to mirror component command since that's what I use to create it. 
And here we have the options in here like before geometry only or geometry with features. If we choose geometry only, here we have the option for geometry dependence so that if we ever change the geometry in the original model, then the mirrored version that we create will automatically update. You also have the options for placement dependency. So if you change the location of the original component, then it's going to update the location of the mirrored component as well. So you can choose these options if you so wish. Here is the preview button. And again, you choose these different options based on your intention. If you want to get a model with the different features in there, you can choose that. But just like before, when you turn on geometry with features, the dependency option goes away because you can't have dependency if you're going to get the features in the model tree of the new component that you create. So that's good. Let's click the OK button. And we have the mirrored version of the part. And everything looks great in there for this mirrored version. So again, you can execute the command either in part mode or in assembly mode. And you have those different options for controlling the geometry and the dependency. If you are using a version before Creo Parametric 4.0, you don't have this mirror component command. Let me show you how you would do this in Creo Parametric 3.0 and earlier. Here I am in Creo Parametric 3.0. I have my part open in here. Let's create a brand new assembly. And I'm not going to bother changing the name. I'll use my default template. Let's bring in that component. I'll use in session to grab it. And like before, I'm just going to locate it here using the default constraint and then hit the middle mouse button to locate it. If I take a look at the ribbon interface in Creo Parametric 3.0, I do not have a mirror component command. The way that you did this back then is you would use the create command. And here we have the type set to part. And over in the right side, you have subtype. And the default is normally solid part. If you change to mirror part, you can choose the name that you want to use. And I'll call this the create command mirror because that's what I'm using. And then here we have the mirror part dialog box, which is a lot similar to the one that we just saw in Creo Parametric 6.0, but it just doesn't look as nice. Here we have geometry only. When you have geometry only, you can turn on the geometry dependent and the placement dependence like before. Here we can select our part that we want to mirror. Here we have our planar reference. And like before, I recommend that you select geometry from the part that you are mirroring to avoid having a dependency to the assembly in which you are performing this operation. And we have the preview button to see what we're going to end up getting. If you want to have a full model tree in the mirrored part, you could choose geometry with features, but that does not allow you to have ge geometry dependence. Then we can click the OK button. And in this way, we are performing the mirrored component command, just like we had done in later versions of the software. Again, the command is just located a little differently than you have in modern versions of the software. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.